Let's focus on editing. Load your photo or art that you want to use. Crop the background. Click load. Now let's sharpen it. Click stencil. Get your stencil to the level that you want. Make sure to get all the detail you need in that skull while maintaining sharpness in those lines in the background. That's a little blown out, let's go a little less. Find the level that you prefer. That looks good. Click done. Now let's go to edit. The edit page allows you to erase and draw extra lines as needed. Click back and forth between draw and erase. White means erase. You can adjust the size to smaller or larger by using the scroll bar. You can adjust the pen to a marker for a fatter tip. So you can just go find some edges that you don't need in your stencil and erase some of those little details. Make it smaller so you can erase some of the smaller stuff in the inside. Go ahead and click the pen. Adjust it back to a smaller tip. You can bold out some of those lines so you can differentiate your focal point with your foreground from the background. You can always press back if it's too thick or you're not happy. Make it a little thicker here and just follow the line. These simple edits are really convenient right before you're ready to print. Click done when you're ready, you're ready to print.